Hello everyone, this is Carmen Garcia. I want to show you an online tool which is very similar to Photoshop. The one I'm talking about is called Sumo Paint and uh, as I have said it's online and it's free. Uh, as educators or even as workers in a company or whatever, we sometimes need to modify or to edit pictures and we want to do it in a very simple way and of course we want to do it for free. Well, with Sumo Paint we can do it very easily and I want you to see the differences. First of all, I want to show you the display of Photoshop. We can see that at the top we have the options of uh, here, we have the options of file, we have uh, edit, image, layer, Yes, so this is how Photoshop works. The version I have is the CS6. Okay, it's true that there's a new one, uh, but it's a very, very expensive software. Uh, here on the left, we have all the possible tools that we can use. Yes, to crop the image, the, I mean, the finger sole. Yes, there's a lot, a lot of them. Uh, here at the second top, we have these all the possibilities according to the tool that we choose here from the left. This is going to be modified. It's a contextual thing. Yeah, so as soon as we change it, so if we are going to use the pencil or the select uh, move tool, okay, so it's going to change. Here on the right, we have any time that we are working with a picture, here we're going to have all the information about that picture. I don't know if you have ever worked with Photoshop or not, but I need to tell you that Photoshop works with layers. So here at the right bottom part, we have all the layers that are included in this picture. We can see here, for example, yes, we have this option of taking out the vision. So look, this is the layer about the words, and this is the background. It just, just, I click on the little eye, it disappears. So it works with layers. Here's, of course, it's the place where I'm going to be working with a picture. But let's see Sumo Paint. We have to go first to sumopaint.com. And as soon as we get in here, we're going to find this display in here. We're going to see this screen. We just need to scroll down a little bit. And here at the bottom is where we're going to have the online tool. If you can see here, we have more or less the same things in here. At the top, we have File, Edit, Image, Select, Layer. Because Sumo Paint also works with layers. And yes, in the same display, in the same way, we have the layers here at the right side, the right bottom side of Sumo Paint. We can add layers with this little plus in here. Yes, we're going to see how it works in a while. Here on the left side, we have all the tools. Of course, it has less tools. This is a free uh, tool, but it has less because we didn't pay anything. But you will see that we can do also the same basic things that we have done with the Photoshop. So let's go. I'm going to try to do more or less the same thing I've just done with Photoshop. I'm going to work with exactly the same picture and let's see. First of all, we're going to go to File. We're going to open from my computer. We're going to browse the computer now. I have the picture in here. This is the original one, and, okay, here I already have the original picture. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to crop it a little bit to have basically the baby and the little kitten with this funny face. Okay, I've just cropped it. Now that I have it cropped it here, if you see on the right side, the background Yes, is the picture that I have. Now I'm going to add some words. I'm going to use the tool of text. I'm going to use the text tool. But this time, instead of writing directly here, I'm going to create a new layer. In Photoshop, this is done automatically by Photoshop. But here I have to create the new layer. 
Once I'm on the new layer, I'm in here, yes, I'm in on this option, I'm not in this one, I'm on here. I'm on the, on the text tool, I'm going to create this little square and I'm going to write the same things. I could also change in the same way as I did it also with Photoshop, I could change the color here at the top. Now as I'm using this tool, here at the second little top, I have the options of that tool, exactly in the same way as Photoshop. If you don't like to work like this in this tiny space, you can also change that. View, screen mode, and I can work with that in a full mode. So I have exactly the same thing in here. I can modify it. I can change the meow. I can Yes, put it here, yes, and in a way, if you see, we have done more or less exactly the same thing I did with Photoshop, but for free and in a very, very easy way. I can also save this picture directly to cloud. I can save it to my computer. I can send it to email. I'm going to save it to my computer. It gives me some options, the Sumo Paint option. It's an option that any time that you want to open the picture, it will open you this website, a PNG, but I'm going to change it in the other way, as a JPG. And exactly the same way as Photoshop does it, I can choose the quality here. So it will be a bigger or a smaller picture with a better or worse quality. I just click on save. I want to say where I want to save it. I'm going to say that this is the Sumo picture and I'm going to save it. So I have just done exactly the same thing I just did with Photoshop but by using Sumo Paint. So I really hope you have liked it. Thank you!